Hi guys, I am Darwal and today we'll talk about uh, the search proposal and dissertation, a brief guide. I'm estimating around 20-25 minutes for this brief session. I hope it will be helpful for you to uh, write a good research proposal and then finally a good dissertation. Uh, what I want to cover today is uh, understand structure of research dissertation, understand the essentials of literature review and understand essentials of research methodology. Uh, what are four uh, possible examples of an undergrad research uh, project? Uh, could be a research paper, uh, could be a published article, sometimes it can be film, sometimes it can be a document or it can be a research report. Uh, but look at a general report of a research uh, dissertation. Looks like there is a title followed by introduction to research project, introduction, and then literature review, research methodology, data analysis and finding, discussions on the findings and the results, recommendations and conclusions, and then scope for further research, bibliography and references, appendices, which can include uh, reflection, uh, uh, professional statements, etc. Data, uh, file, uh, logs of that meeting attended, Gantt charts, ethical form, questionnaire, consents, uh, permission, etc. in the appendix. Uh, for first thing is introduction to the topic selection. I know many students find it hard to select a topic. So remember some basic things. So think that uh, topic should be uh, in trust uh, to you as well as to the people who are uh, in that field of study and make sure topic has a focused scope rather than uh, broad uh, so instead of saying marketing you focus on say one area of marketing say product and within the product you may be focusing on a particular attributes of the product so rather than having a very broad you should have narrow focused area of research uh, make sure when you're cho choosing a topic you should have some idea of access to the data information regarding the topic also make sure that topic is achievable within the given time frame of your project uh, and then this topic should be adding value to stakeholders and your own knowledge and uh, knowledge area of the subject uh, so if it's a business program, of course, we, it's required that your topic should be business related pathway. If you are tourism, it's good to have a tourism related topic. If it's like event management or another area, make sure your topic is suitable to the pathway and uh, topic should be relevant to the path of theory. Make sure when you are making a choice of topic, you don't broadly make a choice of topic. You must read a few research papers similar to your own research topic before you make a final choice because reading research papers means you are get a better idea about how to refine title objectives and most important how to write introduction literature review and the research methodology and actual analysis because we'll have somebody to benchmark and see as a previous research paper most of research paper are double blind reviewed so they are okay they are of good standards it's good to follow research papers uh, and then you differentiate your research by either data sources assess time and theory etc uh, the difference between research questions aim and objectives uh, uh, research questions are uh, like questions asking what is uh, why when where how research aims are quite broad which is kind of your title a research objective must be narrow and spe specific and uh, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. So make sure your objective is very fine tuned and smart or focused. Uh, students, uh, they, 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 they won't try to do so many things. So what actually happens, they put very broad objectives. Uh, research is more of going deeper rather than spreading it. Three possible levels of objectives you can think about. Uh, the first objective could be identifying, classifying, outlining, discussing theoretical background or theoretical concepts or or the phenomena as it is. Second level objective could be about, uh, so think of starting word like explore, critically evaluate, assess, examine, analyze, determine. And then third level is to formulate a, prop, a solution or produce a uh, or a model or develop a model recommend something propose some theoretical or conceptual model and test it 
and so on so make sure your objectives have these keywords or similar keywords it's always safe that first objective is about developing a theoretical conceptual model uh, or assertions or hypothesis followed by testing followed by recommendation then okay uh, most of people when they're choosing a research topic they 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 don't write an academic rationale you have to justify why this research topic is important you have to think about the stakeholders so how this is important to uh, me which is you researcher and of course academic field theoretical contribution something unique empirical which is business or companies which are looking for empirical contribution and what is your unique contribution please remember this rationale should be based on reading literature review and finding gaps in existing knowledge and saying that okay your research is trying to fulfill a particular gap uh, in research because of temporal time space distance or any other uh, different than previous research or maybe a new theoretical concept itself uh, the second chapter of uh, literature is the literature review. Uh, in, in you do that in proposal as well as in, in your dissertation. Uh, proposal is a brief dissertation is uh, length uh, at the length. So what is literature review? A critical review of relevant theories. So always see that what is the logic behind the topic you are studying. So if it's a marketing, it be marketing theory, consumer behavior theory of plant behavior, theory of reason actions. Technology adaptation, 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 technology adaptation model, uh, innovation diffusion, theory of innovation diffusion, and so on. Motivation theory of motivations like Maslow, Hertz work, and so make sure that you starting with the theoretical concepts or theories before you start writing your literature review and then summarizing. What are the central issues of debate as per your title and objectives? What concepts? terms variables are important and have you covered them have you defined them have you defined them who are the main author authors or writers who do have published these things what have they have found in past and what appears to be known and what you'll be co your contribution uh, what is your uh, uh, area of uh, research here and uh, and maybe uh, towards the end you have a conceptual model with hypothesis or set of assertions for verifying or testing literature review should critically discuss what the main concepts most of students forget that they have to define the terms which they have used in the title and objectives so uh, the main concepts terms variables definitions and their measurements must be very clearly uh, discussed uh, not only uh, conceptual definition but operational definitions which means uh, how for example motivation is is what definition of motivation is a conceptual definition defining what is motivation and how the motivation can be measured in the minds uh, of the people by asking question is a is a operational definition so make sure you have uh, theoretical as well as operational definitions uh, so if motivation affects performance, there will be a relationship between the concepts and variable. If advertisement affects sales, then there will be a relationship between those uh, concepts and so on. So make sure you're discussing relationship between the concepts and variables. The main theories, most important main theories related to your research theme, concepts and definitions and the models must be discussed and critically evaluated. Authors must be compared and contrasted. Uh, basically, you are theoretically answering your research objective. So make sure uh, s almost all research questions first should be theoretically answered in literature review. Check your objectives and read your literature review. Have you answered those questions theoretically or not? If not, your literature review is incomplete perhaps. What research methods were used? Uh, you have to may mention that previous research method because this is guidance for you to establish your methodology. Uh, be precise uh, with the purpose of the literature review uh, is basically uh, to depends on the approach you're saying. So make sure you are doing deduction and induction. You will be using literature to help you identify theories and ideas that you will be test using data collected sometime inductive because after collecting data is explored you, you start developing theories and subsequently relating back to the theory and literature how to critically discuss literature review so make sure you are applying literature review tunnel or funnel I'll be showing you now uh, in the next slide uh, must define 
uh, those concepts and discuss all concepts, their definition, their meaning, their variables, their indicators, and their themes. Uh, when you're doing literature review, for, don't forget uh, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, or four C's, compare, contrast, connect, and conclude different authors. Go on doing this way, compare, contrast, connect, conclude. Uh, compare means authors who are, have uh, draw similar conclusions, uh, linking words such as similarly in addition also again will be comparison and similarly in other words contrast will be like disagreement authors are disagreeing however on the other hand conversely but nevertheless etc. Uh, in the literature review try to find gaps in the research uh, or, or the things which have not been explained which can be your area of research. And also think of what methods of measurements and methodologies were used in the past. Uh, conclude your literature review, must conclude your literature review with a final uh, conceptual model, a diagram, a set of hypotheses and assertions, etc. Uh, this is uh, how you do literature review. So, for example, your topic is impact of social media marketing on brand loyalty. And the first you have to de design literature map or literature review funnel. So, for example, first page or a uh, few pages, first few pages, more about introduction to the field, broader focus. So, look at the topic. It's more about uh, if you highlight impact, social media, marketing, brand loyalty. So, the broader concepts will be those definitions and theories behind that. So, marketing, consumer behavior, their theories, narrow down to social media and narrow down to brand loyalty, social media, advertising, branding theories are the first thing you to cover in first few pages followed by focus on certain aspects in the field of interest social media brand loyalty so you are choosing a particular social media for example Facebook as a social media and the tool of advertising and promoting and then many theories of brand loyalty but maybe focusing on one and two uh, theories of brand loyalty uh, and the models of brand loyalty and then you go to the next stage which is the final of your chapter uh, end with a gap analysis and conceptual model which means uh, you are finalizing your uh, theoretical conceptual model uh, which is about impact of Facebook advertising on brand loyalty and you start developing hypotheses and assertions Okay, let's take another example. So this is uh, your final model looks like, example of concession model. So you look at here, somebody has developed this final model after connect, uh, comparison, contrast, connect and uh, composition and finally arrived at this conceptual model. So he has thought uh, that there are five drivers of brand loyalty uh, through concept social media, ad, uh, it provides relevant content 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 can be updated uh, but content is popular content is applicable to the different programs and so on so different authors will bring different kind of conceptual model of brand loyalty and social media take another example here what drives m commerce or mobile commerce let's say the map uh, so introduce the broad topic read the title drivers mobile commerce so the theories behind that if is it is a consumer behavior of course marketing consumer behavior related theories e-commerce may have better ideas m commerce e-commerce theories will be in the beginning you focus on certain aspects of the field uh, so maybe drivers from e-commerce and drivers of m commerce because e-commerce may be previously what much research m commerce may not be so you may get more in e-commerce followed by end of gap analysis and then you summarize things in the final goal, six main drivers of M commerce in particular situation, uh, and then developing hypothesis and uh, assertion. So uh, your conceptual model may look like uh, this. So you are uh, final. So there are f six drivers which are affecting future of e-commerce, e M commerce, uh, and frequency of using M commerce, uh, mobile use experience affinity uh, demographic factors uh, known store shopping experiences factors attitude towards m commerce and so on may jointly affect your m commerce experience thank you our well, next session we cover research methodology